Well, there it is. Hi guys, welcome to a Warcraft 3 4 versus 4 random team game. I feel like I've got a good colour here. Yellow kind of suits the strategy that's in mind. When I think yellow, I do think priests, so I will let you know what the strategy is going to be. I think I'm allowed some footmen at the start. I'm not 100% sure. Let's read it out. So, Ivan Popoff says, oh, he wants a priest accent. I don't know what a priest accent is like. I suppose maybe I could do a Catholic priest. That'll be fun. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Right then, I'll get the build somewhat set up and then I'll read out the strategy. So, one more on the farm and then we can get going. Okay, Ivan Popoff says... Go human! Archmage and any second hero you like! Best if it's a tanky one! Footman for the creeping! Build arcane sanctum in your allies' bases, as well as yours! Make a few priests in each of your allies' bases just to put them in AFK mode! Oh, you can also, also engage them in battle! The idea of this strategy is very... <laughs> I'm kind of deliberately going all over the place with this strategy. Uh, with his voice, rather. As for hero, paladin, I think. Oh no, archmage and any second hero. Fair, fair enough. Slightly one too many on there. Okay. Whenever you have a badly wounded in a unit, send them to the infirmary so that he can receive the Red Cross. Aid. Aid. Try not to lose units and do st now send units to battle until their HP is full again. Go for knights in the late game. Alrighty. So, we're starting off with some footmen. We're getting a bunch of peasants. I don't think I would really need an expansion to allow myself to build arcane sanctums in multiple people's bases. But I'll probably get one anyway because it's never a bad thing to get yourself an expansion fairly early on. So, let's take care of that. Let's move this over. Ready for action. Boom. So Archmage and Footman are going to be popping out, and I'm going to be going for an expansion then, I guess. Let's go. Try not to block that water mental too much, because he needs to catch up. Footmen are going to be on their way, more peasants need to come out. And then we go for an expansion, and then work our way towards tier 2 ASAP so we can get those priests. <sighs> it's going to be kind of silly. I wonder how the allies are going to react to those priests. Just sort of like sitting in their bases, not doing much. I might need to explain it to them, but I'll probably explain it to them once I've got the actual priests built, if you see what I mean. Rather than just telling them now, because if I tell them now, they're going to be like, what are you? Don't do that, and all this kind of stuff. So it's easy just to do it first and then ask for forgiveness afterwards. There's a little life tip for you there. What is it? Okay. Ready for action. So, how many peasants have we got? Six. That's still a decent number to get some lumber in. Maybe get a tech going. I'll just have to settle for the lesser creep camp. I like this. <laughs> if it works, it works. That's all that matters. To be sure, to be sure. As long as he doesn't last hit it. No, he's not lasting. He's using the bars to last hit this. So, I guess he's fast teching, yep. Going towards something else. I want to get this tech going, obviously. I'm looking at my lumber, it's not quite there yet. I'll be able to get quite a lot more footmen once the tech goes through. The uh, expansion, that is, because I'm going to have quite a bit of spare gold. This looks like a DPS Archmage, not very priest-like. Alright, the Blade Master went here, I see. Right, let's get this tech going. Yes, tech is underway. Footman mayors will start getting spammed out. I can get a couple more workers. And then we'll come over here. Shame that I'm not quite at the level 3 mark for that awesome water elemental, but I can get another one in a moment anyway. Let's get a shop. Let's go for another farm. Let's get another footman after that. I'll let them know that they can actually attack the water elemental. 
You can attack the water on this, you know. That's kind of what he's there for. For tanking. Alright, we're going to come back to base. Still getting the footies. Definitely build up a little bit of defense at this expansion. No point putting all that effort into getting an expansion and then losing it, is there? So if I was to come back and just check this strategy. Footman for creeping, arcane sanctums into allies' bases. So I'm going to need peasants spread out amongst people's bases. So I'm going to need quite a few extra peasants in. May as well treat myself to a blacksmith as well. Almost done. No shredder for me though. Let's go boys. Let's go heal the enemy with our swords. I guess I'll get defend so I can do some sort of effective harass and maybe build up a bit of experience from the Archmage. Everyone on the team's almost got an expansion. No, that's a lie. Teal's working towards an expansion and then it'll be almost everyone. So it's not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so with that in mind, one over here, one over there, one over here. Tech is almost done. Another tower. Another tower, probably. And try to bring in as much lumber as possible, because it ain't going to be cheap. Hmm, Night Elf, hey? Let's go for the main, then, and see if he town portals in disgust at the human inside of his base. And maybe he has a bunch of range units. Blade Master will very easily pick off those wisps. Defend makes these footmen a lot harder to kill. I mean, the warden can really DPS it, so if you actually kill these wisps, this will probably go down, which is going better than I expected. Because he's run out of ways to heal this, and they haven't got enough DPS versus my footmen, so that's actually going to die. That's kind of silly. Whoops. Should really be at the back of the base, although that's going to annoy him and get in the way. More lumber is required. No, no, no! You idiot. That. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> that guy's dead already. I got quite a lot on lumber, but I still need clearly a lot more. Priests aren't too expensive, though. So the idea is to get a few priests, set them into each ally's base. And say that they have something that they can return back to if they need a little bit of heal. And then later on, if they're going to be too aggressive, my allies, we'll bring the priests out onto the field. I mean, I'd have to go Paladin as a second hero, wouldn't I? It wouldn't... It shouldn't be anything else, should it, really? You could maybe excuse a Blood Mage just simply for Siphon Mana. And putting that into the priests. Looks like you are the healer. Does he realize what I'm doing already? Because that's quite clever. Job's done. Work. Oh. Healer have to die. Oh, okay. I thought for a second there he was like, he knew what I was, this strategy was about. I was like, wow. I may as well give them a shop as well because I'm a nice guy. Job's done. More work. What is it? And a farm. Shop and a farm. That's the idea behind this solid strategy. And now, tech up. Probably work towards a second barracks. Pimp out the paladin. You get the idea. So that way I can have some crusaders on the battlefield that can then get healed by the priests. So once the crusaders are out, perhaps I can bring the, fi the priests to play. So just priests for now. Try to get an even amount. I don't actually think I have priests in my base. I suppose I have to get priests in my base as well. I've just been concentrating on the allies' bases. Is he tier 3 yet? No, not yet. Yeah, let's get this down. Come here, Mr. Undead. Don't skulk away from me. 
That's something you don't often see undead do, is run away. Alright. So how's my heels doing? Need to hotkey up these buildings. So I can keep better track of them. Let's get armor for the knights as well. Give them a bit more tankiness. Yes, me lord. Job's done. Is someone so, several priests. Job's done. Job's done. Complete. Okay. <laughs> I will abide by those rules. Hello. Blue's having some fun with a Zeppelin. So more priests. Tier 3 is now done, so the knights can come out. And we can get a bit more armor. It's a solid strategy! I can't see anything wrong with this. It works perfectly. Having a bunch of AFK priests. Look, there we go. He's cheating and using healing cells. Let's get those heals in him. Make sure no one else needs the aid. So it's just Orange at the moment who requests the aids of my priests. My aid required. What ails you? Is my aid required? And now they can come and join him because he still requests their help. So those ones in particular can come help, but the other ones are still here, just in case. Right away. Who's left now? <laughs> I think there's just one person left. There's not much to this at this point. I had a little bit of fun, but it's a stupid strategy. Yeah. Priests. I should have inner fire soon, hopefully. Which one's getting inner fire? Ah, it's not quite yet. I can get some inner fire all over him. I am your servant. We'll set the 80 food mark for the moment. Keep getting the armor. Is my aid required? Is someone injured? What ails? Come on, priests. Yes, my Is my aid required? As you wish. Right away. At least they haven't got spell breakers to steal all of this. But they have got dryads that are abolishing some of the inner fire, as you can see. Medic! Oh, he's getting ganked. Oh no, okay. I thought there was someone else's griffins. Medic! No! I tried to heal him. I was spam healing him. He just took just a little bit too much damage. These priests are volunteers, by the way. So, you know, they're not actual professionals. If they were professionals, they'd probably keep them alive. Right away. I am your servant. Right away. This guy's going for it, though, isn't he? Since 1977. <laughs> How long's the Red Cross been going? Out of curiosity. I think it's probably a bit longer than 1977. All priests are required. Medic. I come to cleanse this land. Is my aid required? Yeah, they're all going now. The Crusaders are on their way. The medics are trying to keep the raiders going. No, it's not easy. He's doing a good job though. He's moving those units back and forth. Trying his best. And the Tauren Cheetah can soak up the experience whilst the Blade Master's not feeling so well. It's currently in the ambulance. 
just resting his head after that nasty fall he had earlier. I'm coming back in with level 3 Brilliant Sora for my priests. And there you go! An incredibly stupid strategy, but hopefully you had some fun with it. Just the RP. It's more one of those RP silly ones, so... Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you later.